cymbal hit. It's all good. <laughs> What's up? I'm Jonathan Noel. I'm Brian Noel. This is Forms and Focus. Where we provide guided forms to manifest radical, radical focus. focus. That's right, bro. Focus this. Boy. <laughs> Man, how's it going? Oh, amazing. That's good. Heck yeah. You know um, why it's going amazing for me? Why is that? Is because I set a goal. Oh, and then you followed through? I followed through. Man, that's a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what the goal was? What was that? To uh, start a podcast with my brother. Oh, hey, we're doing it. <laughs> hey, 10 episodes deep. <laughs> I know. That's awesome. <laughs> So that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about goals, setting goals, and how that helps you stay focused. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. So this is perfect because Uh, we've got two perspectives here. Brian is the goal setter, (laughs) and I am the goal not setter. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Well, uh, so I started doing some research on goal setting, and, you know, I found, I was trying to figure out, like, uh, how many Americans set goals, and... um, I kept finding these stats. I honestly, I couldn't find a source, even though I found like 30 articles that uh, quoted uh, this stat, but less than 3% of Americans have written goals and less than 1% review and rewrite their goals on a daily basis. So I read that a lot, couldn't find the source, but you can kind of ask yourself, do you set goals? Do you write them down? Yeah, especially the daily basis part. I mean, (laughs) if you're reviewing them, I mean, if you're doing that weekly, that would be amazing to me, but daily, so... (laughs) But <laughs> wake up today. I mean, like most people have a goal, like, unfortunately, it's kind of sad, but a lot of people have a goal of like, don't get fired today. Yeah. Don't like real short. Go term. off Make on your coworker. The- <laughs> <laughs> just don't start it, a fight. Make it through the day goals. Yeah. Make it through the day goal. <laughs> just just make it to the end of the day. And then but uh, but if you have a dream, you want you're trying to accomplish something. Um, we're going to talk about how setting those goals and some different techniques for yeah. those goals and how they'll help you accomplish your dreams. Exactly. Because, mm. you know, we've all been through a new year's, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or two, but, uh, research from Scranton, uh, there was a study, it looks like 92% of people that set new year's goals never actually achieved them. Are we surprised at that? Not at all. Not even <laughs> one. I mean, so, <laughs> it's funny. We got two stat. We got two things here. We got people don't set goals, and those that do don't do anything with them. So there you go. Podcast <laughs> over. Don't worry about it. See you later. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that's probably like. I would assume. I know for me, to, like I've definitely uh, been on the New Year's goal train. Um, but if you if you set goals and you don't achieve them, like. I guess after doing that over and over again, you just kind of subconsciously like say, I'm why not, would I, why would I, what's the yeah, point? I mean, I'll, I'm just going to be disappointed. Yeah. If it doesn't follow through, if it happens enough times, then it's kind of like, why? Yeah. Why try? So maybe we're just a society of people with uh, forgotten dreams because we've <laughs> had unfulfilled goals. Well, they're definitely not going to teach you how to do your goal or how to plan your goals and follow through That's, in school. There's no yeah. public education. Like, yeah. <laughs> like actually using how your brain works mm. to set the goals in a way that makes sense. So that's not a thing. That's not a thing, but we're going to talk about it today. Yeah, let's do it, bro. So, um, <laughs> first I read, uh, a study behavior on cognitive neuroscience reviews. People that set goals are generally more together than everyone else, which I read that and I laughed. Like the way they said that was like the person who wrote that obviously was a goal setter. It's kind of of pompous. (laughs) But that's because goal setting rewires our brains to make the component parts more effective, right? Work, yeah. Yeah, which is kind of makes sense. Um, But but yeah, what about the brain makes it more effective? So it looks like the amygdala, which is a part of the emotional center, that evaluates your goal. So mm. you can see how important it is. So that's one thing about setting goals. I feel like people, you know, you have to think about, you might think it's important, but then you set it and you're actually trying to do it. And you might realize actually, maybe it's <laughs> not as important as you thought. Mm. Ooh, so, that's good. you know, it's trying to find things that actually resonate with you. Mm. So oh, instead like of that. just like a lofty up in the air, like <laughs> I want to, feel great (laughs) (laughs) i want to feel great today yeah (laughs) so um then the frontal lobe which is the brain's logic problem solving portion uh this helps the goal digest Mm. so it's like you can kind of look at it analyze it and just move forward logically oh i like that so the amygdala is the emotion the frontal lobe is the logical and when you set goals 
and you really apply both yeah. sides of the brain, you kind of think through it logically and emotionally, uh, it rewires your brain. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So though we may have not been successful at our goals before, maybe we should still take a, take a stab at it. Take a, yeah, take a crack at it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, the next tip is, you know, obviously no surprise, but set specific goals. So uh, research by Edwin Lockie and Gary Latham found that when people follow these two principles, setting specific and challenging goals, it led to a higher performance uh, 90% of the time. And that makes perfect sense. It makes sense. I mean, we were just talking about it, you know, the lofty <laughs> up in the air, like, I want to be rich. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Probably not specific enough. Not specific enough. I mean, there's however many thousands of ways to reach. <laughs> and then plus, what's your version? What's your version of rich? Yeah. You know, I mean, some people just need to be whatever enough to survive. Yeah. Um, some people just need to be richer than with, their neighbor without, <laughs> without the private jet, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, me rich is, uh, um, I can do whatever I want today. Yeah. Everything's That's my rich. Everything's paid off. Yeah. Mm. You know, foods in the backyard. You're not heating a 5,000 square foot house <sighs> with like 10 rooms that you're heating that no one's in <laughs> that you're sad and lonely in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> when, I was, when I was reading those specific goals, it was pretty funny. They talked about a balance, right? So you want specific and challenging goals, but um, a very specific task. Uh, we'll talk about task on the next podcast, but this yeah. is more like a specific goal. Like, you know, by the this time period, I would like to, um, you know, save this much. Right. And if it's too challenging, and that's the problem. Like if you, we're trying to lose weight and we're like, right. I want to look like that Instagram model, you know, like... <laughs> That might right. be too much, right? Um, but more setting a challenging goal, like I'm going to monitor how good I feel when I wake up in the morning, and when you drink water, yeah, <laughs> when I drink water, <laughs> and five days out of the week, I want to wake up feeling good. So, like, what yeah. do I need to do to monitor that? Things and, you can actually track mm, more or less, or yes. benchmarks. And then if you realize the benchmarks are too, you know, not really possible or too intense that's when you reevaluate it. There's mm. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Reevaluate. Everything is a constant evolving process. Yeah. No, no, no person ever laid it out, <laughs> you yeah. know, 10 years old, I'm going to do this <laughs> and it's going to work perfect. I lay out the whole life plan for the next 60 years. It's not a thing. You always change and evolve. Always. And so, Oh, that's a good point. I like that. Mm. Um, we were reading also, it looks like people who write down their goals are 20% more successful in accomplishing them. And I think that's because it keeps staring at you. Yeah, every <laughs> you day. Know, you see it. Mm. You know, it's not an out of sight, out of mind situation. Yeah. So I, you, whatever, wherever it is, whether it's a sticky note on the whatever computer screen, whiteboard, whatever, mm. you know, physically written down digitally, but it's just there staring at you every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> I know like... Uh, you know, as, as uh, you know, we've gotten a little older, uh, we try to eat better. And I remember I th my wife wrote a sticky and put it somewhere and it said, if you eat like trash, you feel like trash. And I love that. I yeah, was like, I that's mean, so good. Like if you put that on the fridge, put that on the fridge, <laughs> that will shame the shit out of you. <laughs> but if you want to feel better, you're like, you know what? Maybe we don't get bugles. <laughs> <laughs> bugles. I haven't thought of bugles in a long time, man. Maybe we'll get the <laughs> dried fruit snack. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. So uh, write specific goals, uh, write them down, set specific goals, write them down. And then um, I read know the why. So uh, people have a greater understanding of the goal, purpose, have more chances of accomplishing their plans. Uh, this was in personnel psychology during a 10-week study on, um, oh, it's funny, 41 female typists. Gosh, how old was the study? <laughs> I should have read that. That feels like this is like 1950s. <laughs> um, it was revealed that participants who understood the reason why the goals are necessary turned out to be successful in tackling them you um, found the oldest study on the <laughs> internet but. hey listen it's been around a while <laughs> but know your why um and again that's funny that study is a very specific like a uh, very specific example but um but i think that applies to everything like yeah i love your point like i want to get rich well like really ask what does that even mean why um what does that look like for you yeah i mean you've you got to have some parameters i yeah. mean if you want to be obscenely wealthy 
usually that requires so much time and energy, you're not going to have a social life. So, yeah. you know, you might have to evaluate it real quick. <laughs> do I actually want friends? Yeah. Do I care about that? Do I care about my social connections? If you do, yeah. and that's fine, absolutely. If you care about maybe you have to prioritize social connections and you don't want to be, you don't actually want to be a billionaire. Maybe you just want to be a regular millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> sitting around with all your friends all the time talking about how you want to be a billionaire is probably the not least the billionaire agree. thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's like, awesome. You look at Elon Musk managing so many companies. You just see every time how tired does he look? <laughs> that's just a good all point. He, all he does is work. Yeah. You can just see it in his eyes. They're like almost bloodshot. Yeah. He's got bags under his eyes, but that's the life he chose. So yeah, if you want it, great. I'm yeah. not judging, but yeah, you he, just got to break it down. You can't have it all. Yeah, it's not a thing. And, <clears throat> and understanding those expectations. The main thing is uh, uh, expectations can can lead to frustrations in life. So when you're setting goals, you know, really look at uh, what are those expectations you have for yourself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's why I live no expectation life, but that's not very easy for some people. <laughs> yeah. Well, most people, <laughs> I respect you for that. <laughs> awesome. So we want to, um, setting a goal increases focus, right? So we talk Set about it. Yeah. Focus blocks. You're sitting down. You want to focus on a specific thing to accomplish your dreams. Mm -hmm. You want to set it, right? Write it down. Hopefully R write it down. Have some parameters. Yep. Don't make it too arbitrary. Yep. Or too strict and like... Yeah, don't make it... And be flexible and don't beat yourself up yeah. for one. It's mm. like, do you think everyone sets every goal and gets it 100%? You got to yeah. be realistic. I mean, this is an evolving process. Yeah, man, I love that. Mm. Yeah. Relook at those goals every week. What yeah. of the goal did you accomplish? Hey, if you're accomplishing anything, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the thing. Like, you know, progress is progress. Yeah. Big or small, so... Mm. I like that. If you're, what'd you say? Say it again. I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go back. Awesome. All right. So set goals. Next podcast, we're going to talk about, uh, next episode, we're going to talk about task within those goals, which Sweet. is pretty fun. Nice. Um, but go to formsandfocus.com. Yep. Subscribe to the newsletter and go to our YouTube channel. Subscribe because, you know, everyone has to say that. So we're going to say it too. But with that, we're out. All right. <laughs>